then in terms of advice, you also need to look um, across a wider group of stakeholders. You've got, you know, extended family to be kind of bouncing ideas off of and people that can give you advice. Um, you know, if your uncle Marvin is a financial whiz uh, and is willing to kind of give you some advice, just make sure that that Marvin's a financial whiz in the area that they're looking at because many times, I mean, even with lawyers, if they don't do a lot of health law or health contracts, they may not, you know, if it's a criminal lawyer, you may have no idea what is, you know, and even if he's a well-meaning relative, um, and you may, and in fact, in certain instances should uh, solicit professional advice, whether it's a financial advisor to make sure that the terms of the agreement uh, meet your needs and, and priorities uh, or a lawyer. Uh, but again, my advice in all of this is as you enter into this process, include others in the decision-making process and bring them in as early as you feel you can so that by the time this all gets reduced to writing on a blank piece of paper, which looks very stark in the reading later, you can you know, take a, a big sigh of relief and say, boy, we thought about all the important stuff and all the people that you know, needed to be part of my decision-making and they're all reflected in this document. Then you've done a good job as a negotiator, you know, from the standpoint of the right job in the right place.